How's it going boys? So in the following video, I wanna share with you quickly how I managed to remove hair from my dick and from my balls. Now there are a few tools that I used and there are a few tricks that I learned throughout the years of trying to be as groomed as possible. I haven't seen anyone else talk about them on YouTube. If you search on YouTube, you're going to see all those uh, trendy trimming machines that are sponsored by big e-commerce companies. However, if you decide to buy those, you're going to soon realize that they're going to cut the skin on your balls just like any other trimmers. So after I've done my own personal research and I bought a bunch of different devices myself. I'm gonna share with you what are the best ways to remove hair from your penis, the fastest and most comfortable way. I'm also going to show you my favorite way to remove hair permanently from my penis. So if you're into that, keep watching this video. Before we begin, I'd really appreciate if you guys like this video, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you're interested in any of the devices that I mentioned in this video, I'm going to try and find links and put them in the description of this video below. Okay, so if you go and search online how to trim hair from your balls and from your dick, you're going to soon realize that a lot of the websites are going to try and sell you on some overpriced trimmers. However, if you want to have the most economical way to remove hair from your balls, it is by far the shaving knife. Now, the way I use the shaving knife is probably different from the way other people use it because I don't use water and soap when I'm shaving my balls. I realize that shaving dry, especially on your balls, is by far the best way to remove hair from your balls. So the way you do it is pretty simple. All you have to do is you have to grab the skin and stretch it on your balls and then shave the hairs when the skin is stretched. What you're going to find out is this is one of the easiest ways and safest ways to shave your balls, especially compared to using the trimmers that you may buy online. So this shaving knife is just a regular Gillette 2 shaving knife. I tried many different ones, but this Gillette 2 was the best in terms of friction on the balls and in terms of safety. Now this will work if you don't have that many hairs on your balls and on your dick. So some people have a lot of hair, some people don't have that many. This is for people that don't have much hair or maybe have medium amounts of hair. Now, if you have a lot of hair like I used to have and you wanna step it up a notch, I tried so many trimmers, you can't even count them. And I found that this Remington one was by far the best. And the reason for that is that it doesn't chop the skin on your balls. So as you can see here, it has some plastic that is first of all soft on your skin and it protects your soft skin on your balls from getting chopped off by the knives here. So this thing was, I don't know, maybe 30, 40 bucks, something cheap, and I have it for a couple of years at least. This works amazing, you can use it in the shower. It is waterproof, the battery lasts for like 45 minutes. It was actually made to shave your head and to remove hair from your face and from your beard. But what I realized is that it's really great to trim hairs from your balls and from your dick. Now, if you're like me and you're looking for a more permanent solution, you're tired of shaving every day or every couple of days, and you wanna just have a soft dick and balls most of the time, there is something that I've been doing for quite a long time and I just started doing it on my dick and balls. So I've been doing laser hair removal for like the past 12 years, probably even more. So as you can see, my arms are soft, my back is soft, my chest, I kept some hair on it, but Mostly, I remove hair with laser on the majority of my body. However, I wasn't really that comfortable with doing laser on my balls and dick just because I was a little bit shy at the beginning and I didn't really feel like having a doctor playing with my genitalia. So I went online and started doing my research to find the best laser hair removal for home. But what I wanted is something that was not expensive because there are like the machines that cost thousands of dollars. And what I also wanted is a machine that had a bunch of reviews. People were getting like really good results with it. So the best I could come up with was this generic IPL hair removal device that I got for around 100 bucks or 120 bucks. So this is nothing fancy. You're basically paying 100 bucks for this tiny machine that will basically remove the hair from your body permanently. Now, it's actually quite nice for what you pay for. So 
you get this machine that doesn't have a battery, so you have to actually connect it to the electricity to use it. You get a shaving knife and you get some other sunglasses that I lost them somewhere. Okay, so I wanna show you quickly how this device works. So after you plug it in the electricity, you basically have to keep pressing until it turns on. And as you can see, it has like some really strong fans when it turns on. So what you have to do is first, you have to use the shaving machine or uh, this trimmer in order for you to remove the hair to basically shave it from your dick and balls. So this does not work or actually it will burn you if you have long hairs on the area where you're trying to remove hair from. So first you have to shave and then you have to set the strength of this laser or this light to whatever you need to. I recommend you to basically start low, especially if you have never done laser hair removal before. So start low and then increase the strength every week. Now, the way you do it is after you decide the strength which you wanna use, as you can see, I have three bars here. Now, after you do that and you change the strength by pressing this button here, so after you adjust the strength, you basically have to put this head on the area where you wanna remove hair from and then you basically click. And as you can see, it will flash and it will hit the roots of the hair and it's basically killing the hair and the hair is going to fall off and eventually you're going to have very minimal hair on your dick and balls. Now, let me turn this off because it's really loud. So this kind of IPL is a little bit different from the IPL that you go to beauty salons to do them because this one you actually have to use, at the beginning you have to use it three times Per week now first week or a couple of weeks you have to use it three times per week then two times per week then once per week then once per couple of weeks and basically you're going to decrease the amount you use it because the hair is just gonna be very thin most of the hairs are gonna fall off and not come back so you're going to realize after using it for a few months that your hair is going to be very, very thin, almost invisible, it's going to grow very slowly. And if you keep using this IPL for a long period of time, most of your hair is just going to be gone. Maybe you're going to be left with some thin, light hairs, but the majority of the hair is just going to disappear. Now, if you don't wanna do this yourself and you don't wanna do the treatment every couple of days at the beginning, you can find a proper laser hair removal salon and then do that there because usually the treatment that you do there will last you for a couple of months, maybe sometimes even more, and you will get much better results if you use the big professional machine. However, for people that are not comfortable walking into a beauty salon full of women and having you know, a doctor remove hair from your dick and balls. In my opinion, this can be a great solution that you can do it yourself at home without having to expose your genitalia to some other people outside. So this is all I have for you today. Those are the methods that I use to remove hair from my dick and balls. Those are by far the best methods that I found and I've been doing that for many years. Most people online are not telling you about those things. Most people are just trying to promote a specific trimmer that will trim hairs from your balls. But when you buy those trimmers, you're going to soon realize that they are just normal trimmers that they're going to chop the skin on your balls and they're going to be super painful. So those three methods are, in my opinion, the safest methods and the IPL hair removal method or the laser hair removal method is by far my favorite because I can do it once and I will have permanent results. I don't have to keep doing it for many years to come. So if you guys like this video and learned something from this video, all you have to do to thank me is just leave it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon because otherwise you're not going to see the videos that I'm uploading. And if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comment section below. In anyways, I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.